Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I take this black dress and turn it into this bandana dress. Um, it's inspired by a dress that Cardi B wore on her Instagram a few weeks ago. Um, so basically I'm going to the beauty supply store and I'm just gonna get the bandanas from there. Um, picking the colors that I want to work with kind of similar to hers but also I wanted to brighten it up a little bit and do my own thing so I have this dress form and I'm just gonna put the dress on there obviously the mannequin is you know a little bit smaller than me but that's fine um, I'm gonna take the scissors and cut it because it is technically an off-the-shoulder dress that she wore um, and then after I cut it I'm just gonna kind of pin the strips that I just um, cut in half and just kind of pin it to where I want them to tie um, and then I really just start placing the bandanas wherever I think that I want them so far and because I'm not sure just yet I'm really just placing them and pinning them um, take a step back and then you know rework it figure it out I'm kind of just playing along as I go and placing everything pinning it take a step back and look and as you see, the colors are going to change a few times. Um, this purple here is what I'm pretty much using um, where I am making the off-the-shoulder part. So um, I just kind of wrap that around the back. And now I'm, I'm using fabric glue. Um, so I'm just going to glue where I want the fabric to stick, press it down and my technique pretty much is press it down and pin it so that it stays and I'm just going to do that kind of all over but mostly focusing on the edges of the dress and then I cut where there seems to be a little bit of excess fabric or bandanas whatever um, and I'm just kind of molding and reworking and playing, ar playing around with everything as I go. Um, yeah a lot of trial and error and now I'm just cutting along the side of the racer back because it is a racer back cut dress um, but you know no bandana left behind no bandana wasted and now I'm cutting out the armhole and just kind of you know pinning everything so again if I'm not sure where it's gonna go I'm really just pinning it and now I'm tucking the fabric so you know you just tuck it so that it's along the edges and pin it there before um because I'm not too sure exactly I don't know what I'm doing basically like I'm literally figuring out as I go um and then I put the purple on top that's the purple that I had pinned previously where I was putting the armholes and I'm pretty much just gonna wrap that around so that it looks neater on the edges and I did cut it so that um, the two pieces will pretty much end up just tying together instead of shoot girl I don't know I just did it so that the two pieces would tie together and now that I'm sure about this this is the one thing I'm sure about I'm a glue and pin and just glue it on both sides so I pretty much just folded this into the bandana like a burrito and press down on the glue in hindsight it probably is easier to just pin and um, use a sewing machine instead of the glue because it does get a little bit messy and you know it's just not as as easy So now I've kind of got an idea of what it is that I'm doing and I am starting to go through out the body and you know just glue things down um, specifically the foundation pieces so as you can see at the bottom I did glue the blue and I started gluing the pink a little bit as well but the white on top I'm not 100% sure about um, so I'm only gluing it along the very top so this is the top of the back again racer back and yeah glue and pin and then this is what it looks like after I've done all of my gluing placements and pinning on the first day so we gonna see how we we gonna sleep on it <laughs> and then I let it sit overnight in the morning I went back and some of the pins I actually took out the ones that were stuck into the pin form I mean into the dress form and 
Others I just um, kind of took out and placed so that the bandana fabric would be stuck together. Um, and now we're going to try to take the dress off the mannequin, which, oh, she a little too thick, which I'm a little bit more thicker. So let's start that over. Um, I did kind of go back and take off some of the stuff that I had done um, previously so that I could get the dress off the mannequin. And I did have to cut along the sides because the bandana does not stretch. Again, this is a bodycon dress, so I guess I just didn't pull the fabric properly, which, you know, woody of so now I'm trying to put the dress on, which as you can see, mm, struggle, struggle. It's just all struggle. So yeah, I cut some more pieces and eventually got it on, but it's almost like I'm back to scratch. So I decided to use my body almost like the mannequin because I am, you know, a little bit more thicker than the mannequin and the dress will be a little bit more stretched out to its regular size while it's on me. So um the main thing with gluing here which was super difficult but gluing to the dress and pinning without getting anything stuck on myself because I don't want it to be obviously glued to me like I'm not wearing this dress for life um and adjusting it so that the fabric is stretching the way that it's supposed to stretch and things will glue in the proper places so um yeah this was really hard because I'm not <laughs> like mannequins don't move so that makes it a lot easier but you know we're making it do what it do um and I had to hold it down like literally hold it down while I'm trying to glue and pin things around um but I'm just draping it as I'm sure you can imagine this is one of the more difficult parts where I have to glue literally to my butt like what doesn't even make sense or just to my lower body in general because I have to move which then shifts the dress and yeah like I it's just mm. again it probably would have been a lot easier to just do all of the pinning take the dress off and hand sew or use a sewing machine but you know I'm making it do what it do I took another bandana cut it in half and I'm just placing it like it's kind of falling apart but it's all coming together at the same time slowly but surely and this is where we are so far obviously the white is untucked a little bit and i do kind of go back and place this on the sides because this is how i'm going to tighten the top of the dress with these things at the top and then this is going to be off the shoulder on this side so we're going to tie that around the arm which can't do that myself so you know it's just whatever and then i came back in the morning you know after i had some time to sleep on it and now that I have most of my base pieces placed and I'm kind of just going to be putting things on top of it, I do have it back on the mannequin. Um, I did tie the side tighter and now I'm just kind of pinning and placing more on top as I go. And, you know, I'm just trying to figure it all out. Um, I kind of like where it's going, but it's also very confusing because... It doesn't really look anything like Cardi B's dress, which is fine because hers cost $1,600 and mine is $10 worth of bandanas. Actually, seven, so whatever. Um, but it's coming along, and that's what's important. Um, continuing to just pin and glue and pin and glue. And this is kind of where we're at. This is kind of where it's going to be. So now I'm going back and just reinforcing some of the areas that seem a little bit weak. That's kind of the only thing with fabric glue, like it doesn't stick as well. It's not really a stitch, um, but it's, you know, whatever. It's serving its purpose for right now. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of done now. And just going back and reinforcing with pins some of the things that are falling out of place a little bit and just making sure that I have everything glued and struck down and this is the back that's eventually how it's gonna look and it looks a little frumpy on the mannequin but whatever so now I'm taking a bandana cutting it in half I'm actually gonna end up taking another one too but I'm cutting them in half so that um, I can cinch the waist a little bit because that just looks better on me when the waist is cinched and the bottom kind of flares out and I don't want to look like a big ass bandana blanket so yeah um I tied the pink and the burgundy-ish color 
together. And I'm just trying to figure out, I don't know who waist I thought was that little. Maybe the mannequins, but not my job. Um, but I'm just going to try to figure out how I can finesse a belt. I think I kind of like it. But, yeah, you know, mine definitely is not a, a $1,600 dress. Like, we'll just say that. And this is the end result on the mannequin. You know, she got a little, a little breast meat out, but it's okay. And now this is the final result on your girl. Um, I'm not in love in love with it, but I also wasn't really in love with Cardi's dress. So <laughs> there's that. Um, bandana is trending right now. So I'll probably get at least a little bit of use out of it. Um, even if it's just for a photo shoot, I'm just going to reinforce some of the places where the glue is not, you know, doing what I need it to do. Um, but other than that, um, I do think it's really cute. It's just a few adjustments need to be made here and there. But bottom line, you know, this is where we're at. Her dress was $1,600. Mine is $10 worth of bandanas. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next week.